This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorga at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the wonderful Sorgatron Media Studios in the BFU neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. We got the pizza, we got the tacos, smelling those from across the street, and we got people yelling at each other at the news. It's been a weird day. But anyways, so uh, we, got, we got a full house. First of all, let's go all the way to the Big D, Dormont, PA, is the Big C out of Studio C, John Chichella joining us. How you doing? Pretty good. That's a lot of letters. Yeah, yeah. I got, the, the, I got the, all the Sesame Street on you. B C C D. That's right. Something. <laughs> Something like that. And in the studio, the Dutters. Hi. Star of uh, uh, Dutters TV, which we're going to kickstart very soon. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to sell your your butt for uh, new software so we can yep. continue streaming. Got to do what we got to do. <laughs> if, if we if 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 we if we kickstart that and make enough money, can we go after our other endeavor? Which other endeavor? The the thing that we can't talk about on here that me, you, and Chashi came up with. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know. Use... Wait, if I'm not involved, I don't know if I want to do that. Well, we... <laughs> we'll we'll start a slew of shell corporations. I think we can loop in Dutters on that one. Sweet. Shell she can work corporations. There. She can work there. <laughs> Yeah, can I just get a paycheck? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's Crazy Kraus. Ron hey. Kraus is with us. How's it going? What, what, what loot endeavor do you want to be uh, involved in today? As long as I get a paycheck, Sorg, that's really all that matters. <laughs> that's kind of, uh, oh, yeah. I work how for did you come, How paychecks. did you come across the Sorgatron Media motto? Believe it or not, I go to work every day. Because every two weeks, I get that thing called a paycheck. I don't know this. What is this? If the paycheck stopped, I wouldn't go anymore. I'm just saying. (laughs) Yeah, Katie, I don't think we're in the same world here. (laughs) No. No. At all. Why are we doing the things that we do? (laughs) For love. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, but anyways, we do love. I didn't believe that. (laughs) (laughs) We do love to do this. Kraus still comes here. Yes, I do. I don't send him anything except for. Hey, you can't you know, request to come back. Yeah. You, uh, send him, you send him a Slack message. I send him a Slack message. That's all I got. That's we pay you in love, uh, in Slack love. Uh, that sounds weird. Uh, this is the Awesome Cast. Uh, you can check out everything over at awesomecast.com and send your Slack love uh, at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. Tweet us at awesomecast. Facebook page and group for awesomecast. Please subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch video versions on Facebook and YouTube. Please also please rate us wherever you do find us. If, if it is a video, audio version, podcast, whatever the case may be. And uh, uh, of course, you can uh, ask your uh, uh, talkie device or your home, as Chill's case may be, because it's pretty much rigged for any of this stuff uh, over on your Google Home, your Amazon Echo, or that Apple thingy. Um, <laughs> so, and of course, you can join us here live every Tuesday, just like my mom is, uh, <laughs> and so many other people over on uh, Facebook.com slash AwesomeCast. We are, of course, streaming, and maybe you're listening to us, watching us on another platform or streaming later on. Uh, we do the live here on Tuesday nights. Um, we are paying attention for sure over on the Facebook page if you want to join us on the chat there. Or if you're catching us a little bit later, uh, you can hit us up uh, at AwesomeCast on the Twitter, which hashtag AC459 if you want to continue the conversation about this episode. Also, speaking of other places we may be, uh, hit us hit up our streaming partners, RiversEdgePGH.com and The405Media.com. Uh, they are, of course, rebroadcasting this very show uh, several times throughout the week. So please hit that up. And then, um, and hit, please hit that up uh, uh, as well, uh, and and check out your local listings on there to see when we pop up. And also, thank you to our Patreon supporters, Patreon.com/slash/awesomecast. Our friends at the 
Coffee Club $5 level. Uh, Matt Weller, John Diggy DeGore, and John Karma. We try to give you guys a little bit extra conversation that we do off the stream. Uh, and also our, our longest, run pa- longest running Patreon supporter, uh, Michael Fedor at the Fan of the Show $1 level. Thank you, everybody, helping us keep the lights on here with the podcast and showing that somebody out there really does care about this show. And you guys can support the show, too, again, at patreon.com slash awesomecast. And also pending uh, that thing where we sell Dutter's butt for money. Yeah. Uh, so um, there's a lot to get through the today, but Katie, um, I think we're going to share the excitement on this first one here. Uh, Kate, Katie, He Man's coming back. Yes. Yes. So excited. Yes, and it's so it's the original He Man. They're picking up where they left off with the original filmation series, apparently, um, and uh, and it's going to be uh, uh, headed by Kevin Smith. And the it's going to be an anime series, limited series, with the same group that's done the fantastic Castlevania series on Netflix. So, what? And refresh my memory. When when did they leave off, and where was the storyline? I cannot remember because I can just tell you Skeletor <laughs> got away laughing again. Um, <laughs> but I, I but I do kind of want to refresh my memory because uh, uh, I can't tell you what the last episode of He Man was because they were just on all the time, right? Um. So she she were, she was she was was around. Orca was floating. Yeah. Right. Right. Man, right. Man at arms was chilling. I don't know. I don't remember what. I actually you know recently I did. I was looking through uh, uh from my library app. There is the uh the complete like He Man like encyclopedia that has like a synopsis of every episode of He Man and She Ra in it. So nice. maybe that would be good, and, and there's like a lot of references and and things like that. It's uh, it, you know, maybe maybe that's what I need to flip through that again and, and check out where where we did leave off instead of just sitting through hours and hours of filmation <laughs> <laughs> of the same animations over and over again from the '80s. Um, but I mean, this is this is exciting because I mean, this is a series that um, I was reminded of this because uh, Kevin Smith actually talks with a lot of um, the former writers because one of the former writers of, of He Man. Um, some may know from uh, some of his work with Batman the Animated Series, uh, Paul Dini, who created Harley Quinn on the series that became oh, before she was even in the comic book, right? So you know, and, and and some of the I do have that you know I you know the 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 top ten episodes of He Man DVD or the, and the top ten episodes of She Ra DVD, right? And at least a few of those are written by Paul Dini and guys like that. So Kevin Smith already has a relationship with these guys, you know, and, you know, through his Batman stuff. Uh, so it was it's kind of cool to see him kind of coming around on that too. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to see a ton of merchandising, whether it be Legos, toy figures. I can I can only imagine the the plethora of other things we're going to get out of this. We got a comment from the chat room, and Katie, I get, you got a you got a comment on this too because I don't I don't think we're going to agree. Uh, Carmen saying, "Fair warning: if you watch the original show as an adult, it is not good." <laughs> no. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't say I agree with that, right, Katie? <laughs> I have not watched it. You haven't recently. watched it that long. No. You it's don't have it on long. VHS. Surprisingly, <laughs> no. <laughs> We'll have to. What we'll the we're on Netflix for the longest time, and I imagine they're going to pop up again given this this connection. And well, she was already running on there. Their third season's up there, uh, which I still need to watch. Um, and and they're they're teasing the He Man stuff. Last I knew, um, and, and of course it's a different world. This isn't going to reconnect or anything. This isn't the same She Ra that we saw in the eighties, um, or in cosplay at Comic Con. Uh, so uh, you know, it, but uh, looking out for it, 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 it was. I think it's good. It's a good watch for an '80s cartoon. Have you tried watching Transformers? But is it one of those shows where they say, depending on the age you were when you first saw it, mm-hmm. that affects oh, yeah. what you oh, think yeah. of it this later is, on? In oh, life? I'm going way into member ba- member berries on this one. Trust okay, me. Right. trust me. All about the member berries on this one. Yeah, He Man member berries. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, in my head, some of those were like some pretty good, I actually even found another one where it's just all those mini comics that came with the action figures, Ooh. uh, reprint it's on the library app too. Nice. And well, cause like, they literally started the show to sell the action figures. Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. It was, most 80s TV. It, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it, it, it kind of started the craze of that. Right. But they still, um, the biggest thing was filmation said, okay, cool. But you got to give us free reign on what we do with the story, and there's plenty of characters in the Filmation series that do did not make it to toys. 
Okay. So like it, it's it's fairly separate, even though you know yes, the whole point was to to sell toys. So, um, but it was it was it's a pretty big deal. I, I, I'm happy to see this. I can't wait to see what they do with this. Uh, again, just just everything points to this being a pretty awesome thing. And and yeah, I want to find out where they found where they left off. So and it says it's going to complete the final battle between He Man and Skeletor. Oh. And hopefully, I wonder who's going to win. And. <laughs> She Shira comes in and saves them all on Swiftwin. That's what happens. Um, maybe it sets up for a Shira comeback Whoa. show too. So uh, <laughs> from that, uh, 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 Katie, what what is your awesome thing? Oh, that's not He Man. No, not He Man. Uh, so um, Sunday, I had to think what day it was. On Sunday, I made a trip to Columbus, oh. Ohio, uh, to see a couple things. One, the at uh, their COSI, which is their uh, Science Center, essentially. Uh, they had a, an exhibit from Henson that has been traveling, and this is it's only there till the second. So unless you make it out in the next few days, you're probably going to miss it. But it's a lot of the original uh, Muppets were there. Kermit was there. Uh, original drawings, original storyboards, really amazing stuff if you're into Henson. Um, but I had to go see that. And so also made a trip to a place called Otherworld. Um, Otherworld is an immersive art experience and it's, it's, it's an amazing place inside you. So you go to this really dead looking strip mall and there's this place that looks like a museum. It says Otherworld and you walk in and it's ridiculous. Like the things that they are doing, like there, there's things and scenes and you walk th- through all these different scenes and you can touch things and there's puzzles that you're supposed to find symbols and be able to do unlock certain things. But the things that they're doing with mapping and, different you know using um the xbox like the connects um when you touch the wall things move there's like fish that touch and they come to life or if you're on the floor you could watch and you can blow up you know step on these bubbles and they'll disperse but it's just this wild world that you just walk through and like it's very different like there's not like a I wouldn't say there's a cohesive story. You're kind of going from different world to different world, but it's so super cool. But like I said, what what they're doing with like the mapping and the projections is Mm. just phenomenal. And it's gorgeous. That looks awesome. Yeah. That does look awesome. Really cool. Is, is that also ending soon or is that going to be there that's, for that's some there time? year round it okay. just opened in may they're open thursdays through sundays uh fine for kids adults had fun uh, fine for adults too i was i was not sure what to expect when i went there um i knew some of the folks that worked on it scenically a lot of them were haunters it was like hey cool and we got a cool behind the scenes tour because we knew by somebody there but yeah mm-hmm. kids and adults will love it uh the one room that you see most of the photos with uh the multi-colored um uh, that looks like beams is a really fun room and it's, it's there's a glass or mirrors around it and so you have all these light tubes that you could you can touch and you could play it's just pvc and it was really funny chilla you'll appreciate this because there was two little boys chasing each other back and forth and they forgot that there were mirrors and they just <laughs> this is a mirror full for i mean the parents were laughing we were all like laughing we, it we, was just, we've had that happen yeah, just like full like not even paying attention just smack and you're like oh no and everybody was laughing everybody was okay <laughs> in the moment of what just happened but everybody was okay but yeah that's something awesome. super cool to check out that's awesome where can you find that again it's called Otherworld Ohio. If you go to otherworldohio.com, a lot of black light stuff too, if you're into that. All right. Is it, um, and you said it's outside of Columbus, right? Yep. It's, it's really, it's, it's right outside the city. It's actually a little bit closer to us than the main, like downtown Columbus. So I think it was like in two hours and, I don't know, half hour, two and a half to two hours and 45 minutes away. So not a bad drive. Cool. Do it. Nice. That sounds like a good <laughs> trip. There's there's a wizard world coming up there, I think, in ah, October. So. That is two, convenient. Two birds, one stone. Nice. Mm. Chilla, tell us about security. So um, I saw this was announced today from Yubico. So they announced and that they make the Yubi keys, which are like the hardware-based keys. Some, mm-hmm. some of them are USB. They released one that was, I think, NFC and Bluetooth a while back. They've released the 5CI. Um, which is kind of like a double-ended dong- dongle. A double-ended um, dongle? A oh. double-ended dongle. One side is lightning and one side's USB-C. Oh, let me get a, look, a closer look at that. Oh. So I thought it was pretty cool. So it works with password managers like 1Password, Dashlane, LastPass, mm-hmm. Bitwarden. Um, it also works with other services like Okta. If you're into the enterprise uh, single sign-on and identity services, um, 
let, it, let's roll that back a little bit uh, for okay. It, it, I it, I don't know anything so, about security. Do you use you use you do you use one password or LastPass? Uh, I do. I do. Yeah. So instead of so instead of having to have your password you would plug in this device, mm-hmm. which I like personally because it means you have to have something physical, right? If I knew your last pass password, then I would have all of your passwords. Right. With this, I would have to like steal your keychain, which is one of those things that would probably not go unnoticed. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so I like the theory of having either something like your face, which your face makes me nervous because you can't change your face. It's kind of like your fingerprint. Yeah. Um, if, if someone's, if, if someone feels uh, figures out how to compromise your fingerprint and that's the, that's the key um, to all of your passwords, you, mm-hmm. you probably have a problem, right? Whereas you can change something like one of these physical dongles. Um, and based on the fact that it's both lightning and USB-C, um, it's not just, um, iOS based, right? It's any PC, any Android, dev- any modern Android device, any modern PC. Um, you could plug this in and it validates as to who you are and then allows you to unlock other systems. And then with using password managers, you can now, instead of using the same password for everything or some crazy algorithm that you come up with here in your head, like the first letter of the website or service plus mm, your kid's uh, name and then your birthday and the last four digits of your phone number. He is an Android. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so this allows you to have that physical piece and really randomize those passwords. So I thought, I thought it was a pretty nice piece of equipment. It comes in kind of expensive at the $70 price range, but if you're dealing with multiple services and multiple passwords, um, versus being compromised, it's probably worth it. They also have a $45 um, NFC and Bluetooth version, and then they have Google has a alternate option at $50, the Titan so, security key. So this is maybe maybe not everybody should have this, right? Are we? We're not at that point. But, you, but so, like, like, so here's going to be my question: mm-hmm. Should everyone put a password on the front front end of their phone? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think so. I think my, so too. My mom doesn't. I don't know why, but. <laughs> well, we I don't. I don't think my mom does either. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I would say, if you if you have more than just your Facebook, and you're worried about your identity and your passwords, then I would say we're getting to a turning point of whether you're you were involved in the um, Home Depot Target. Mm-hmm. hacks if you were involved okay so in, if you're worried and, about that if you're worried about all these hack things that are coming through yep. uh we just got a message from like i don't know capital one or something the other day uh something like that right like if if you're getting those messages and you are concerned this would help dissuade those concerns yep. well uh maybe right not so much the target no those kind but, of concerns but no but yeah. I guess I look at it as more on the if you're worried about your identity and you care about things like your Facebook account, your Instagram account, your bank account, yeah. um, those types of th- things that you log into from different machines. Right, right. And you're one of those people that uses the other thing is you look at all the breaches that go on with passwords being found on xyz site and then right, they're published right. and then you use that password everywhere right <laughs> well now i have access to all so but, you know if you're the everyday person that you're concerned about this but also i think if you consider yourself a high value target like you guys work in security a little bit with with uh, uh big bank international or you're a newspaper reporter or you're something like that somebody that is going to be targeted with something like this that would, that would be helpful and, and i look at it i take the uh superman three slash <laughs> Office space view of it, right? Uh, every time you if, do, you, every time if, you mention the Superman three effect. If, but if, but when you think about it, right? If I found, let's just say I found a hundred user accounts and their password mm-hmm. from like from something silly like old Plurk accounts, and <laughs> and you use that same user ID and password at your bank, 
right. then I go and then I go sign you and a ninety nine other people up for Venmo mm -hmm. and, and and take a dollar every week out of all those accounts. Mm -hmm. I could be making. I could. I could be just getting checks like Kraus does and sit back. And there, you <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's Krauss's checks. Speaking of Krauss's checks, his awesome thing is a new car. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. We finally traded in the old girl, and uh, we had a 2004 Hyundai Santa Fe, 15 years old, and Oof. we felt it was time. And um, now I have Android Auto and all that good stuff. And That's right. A Hyundai Tucson. Yeah. Not the blue one pictured here if you it's on video. Yeah. It's the red one. <laughs> it's a red yeah, one. Yeah. Imagine that. So imagine that in your head. But uh, that's a slick looking car. I'm looking at it outside the front window, too. Yeah. I actually have the, <laughs> the sport version. So if you scroll down a little mm. there, you'll see it. But, uh, but it's a great car. We love it a lot. Um, it's got, you know, all the cool in-dash stuff and fun things like that uh android auto is very interesting I'm, oh we saw the red one for a second on video uh, okay because there was yeah, the color swatcher it. did you get to do the color swatch thing that yeah. they showed <laughs> no actually <laughs> um it was funny how we wound up with the red one because that was just the color there it is right there yeah but uh it's it's a great car i'm loving it i do really like the in dash um it's amazing what it's like to go from looking at your phone <laughs> to get directions to an 80 inch right screen there. that's right there See? on the, you know it's great <laughs> i just get that experience a few times a year you get it all the time that's awesome yeah I, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> do, did you get do, do you have the option of doing blue link yes i have mm. the blue link do you do you have the remote start yeah i have the remote oh it's start. magical it is only for, for the first three years, and then you know we're gonna pay for it. So you know how it is. <laughs> just yeah, like cable. They, yeah, just like cable. Yeah, it, it, they're nicer now than they were back when it first started because I had to pay for it from the get go. Mm. Oh really? Yeah. So I got the yeah. first three years included. So, but um, yeah, but that with from the app you can do things like check mileage, check upcoming maintenance, uh, start the car, lock the car, all that good stuff. That's awesome. Do you have the ability? So from yours, because mine mine's older. Do you have the ability to actually, when you start the car, to set the internal temp? Yes. <sighs> I'm so mad. Yes. <laughs> yeah, which is very interesting because, like, so in the summertime you can cool the car down, or in the wintertime you can, you know, heat the car up. So. Reminds me, I need to fix my air conditioning. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's awesome. Uh, it, and and uh, you're you're loving the you've done the Android Auto before, right? No, this, this is, is actually first my first experience okay. really right. with Android Auto. You know, I've seen it like in Chilla's car and stuff, but I've you know it's the first real car that I've ever you know ha had the ability to put it on. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's very interesting, and I'm also using. Um, I don't know. There was an article I actually posted it later in the show, but. Um, they did an update for, um, and I guess they're redoing it. So I just turned that one on automatically. I figured if I'm going to get used to it, I might as well use the new stuff right out the gate. I'm afraid of automatic updates on a phone or on a car related device. But yeah. it's, well, it's, but it updates on your phone. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. So, but, uh, it, it works really good. I'm very happy with it. Like I said, the turn by turn directions, having it right there and everything. It's great. Mm -hmm. Even just like even just listening to the radio, it's funny. the The car came what? with the radio. The car came with um, serious, serious for a couple months. Mm -hmm. I haven't listened to it yet because I can access my podcasts. I mm -hmm. can access Amazon uh, Music. So what's the point? You know, like why would I even entertain that idea? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Is there any was there any changes or did you notice with or were you already on the beta when you uh, got Oh, yes, the car? there is a significant like layout change. Um it moves where the buttons are and things. What version of Android is that again? Um it's it's just called Android Auto. If you go into the app on Oh, I'm sorry. Settings, I, I was thinking, oh, I thought we were talking changed about changed UI, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you go into the settings there's just an option for trying out the new Android Auto. It's literally the first option in the menu in the settings. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I, I do like, like I said, I just turned that on right away because I figured what's the point of getting used to it in the old, if this is where they're headed, I'm just going to use it now. Mm -hmm. Um, 
so I couldn't really tell you if there was much of you know of a, a UI change or anything like that. The other thing the car does, which is really kind of interesting, is it has lane assistance. Uh huh. And my wife is convinced, you know, it's just Big Brother to getting <laughs> us used to the idea of the car <laughs> driving itself. Mm-hmm. But it has a little green li- indicator light that goes from white but, to green. Right. The thing is, she's not wrong. No, she's not wrong. But so what it does is, is if it can sense the you know, the center line and the, the, the right side line, it keeps the car in the middle of the lane. Mm-hmm. And every now and again, you'll turn like a couple seconds later than the car thinks you should turn. <laughs> and the wheel will start turning itself. And it's it's it it took a little getting used to, but now that we have it, it's pretty freaking awesome. And I wish it would just drive itself. Now I have to. I honestly, I have to tell you that I wish it would drive itself. Do you, do you have the? And I don't. I don't have this. My sister has it in her Honda. Does it have the um, the automatic uh, cruise control? Yes. That's my favorite feature. Yes. So when you when you set the cruise control, if you come up on a car that's slowed down or whatever, it adjusts the cruise itself. Um, it also has like the lane departure warnings and mm-hmm. stuff. So if you start drifting, it yay, hey, wake up, you you know, <laughs> it beeps. My wife counts those. We have an ongoing thing. How many times <laughs> I drift out of a lane. This is this. These were the thing, kinds of things. Like my mom had uh, when she updated. I think it was Subaru. Yeah. Like again, I think I was talking about it on the show. Like she got a lot of those, like the lane assist and the, and the notifications with you know for blind spots and stuff. Right. And it was just like good. You need those. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, you know. As, you know. As we're getting older, you know, you maybe don't notice as much. And, and as much as something like this can help out, that's great. And so. the other really surprising feature that I didn't think. Mm-hmm. I would enjoy as much as I do the backup camera. Dude. Seriously. I, I love it. Now that I have it, I don't know how I You ever... can park anywhere. Yes. <laughs> not even afraid. And I'm not really a bad parker, no. but just it's amazing. Like, literally, I can. It's amazing how many times that thing's already beeped to warn me, hey, some idiot's coming up. Yep. You know, that I- kind of thing. I wish they had a way, and I don't know if, if you have any blind spots or anything. I wish they had a way, like a toggle button on the steering wheel, that if you ta- while you held yeah. it in, it would it would flip the backup camera on while you were driving. Because mm-hmm. there's so many times where I'm like trying to like double look and yeah. check the lane to check the um. There's that. There's the uh, thing when you turn on your turn signal, it beeps. But if someone's coming just up like, on you too fast, just like camera view on a, on racing games. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, that would actually be kind of nice. My car does have the indicator for the blind spot, though. Mm-hmm. So if you turn on the turn signal, somebody's in your blind spot, and it will beep mm-hmm. to let you know, hey, there's somebody over there. So. That's awesome. Well, yeah. yeah, it's it's a it's a whole bunch of toys. <laughs> and and uh, it was so funny on t- wheels. It was so funny too because my wife at first was like, "I don't know if we need all that stuff," <laughs> and then the dealer comes in and says, "You know, for two dollars and fifty cents a payment, we can uh, guarantee all the bells and whistles for ten years, hundred thousand miles." I'm like, "Sold," because that was <laughs> her biggest concern was. We're gonna buy all this electronic stuff, and then it's gonna start breaking. Well, yeah, now, now it's concern. covered for ten years. It's so. a concern. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about it. It's based on Cunix. It's old BlackBerry technology. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. nothing's wrong with that. Awesome. Well, enjoy the new wheels, and uh, hey, let's give a shout out here. I uh, like we're uh, support like liking the support a lot of our uh, neighbors here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh. Hey, you guys should come up and why here? You should go uh, check out a coffee. We've all been there, working way through the day, then that uh, mid afternoon slump hits. Uh, why you know I, I I make the coffee in the morning and just let it kind of roll into room temperature. Uh, <laughs> so uh, why not get a fresh brewed coffee, mocha or latte at our friend's Muddy Cup. Uh, if you're not in the Beachview area, which is our newest location, I do believe, uh, they have some convenient locations in Bellevue and Dormont, where Chilla is as well. I, I just wish they stayed open a little bit later. 
Oh, always, always. <laughs> Some of us need our caffeine well into the evening. Uh, yes. So, uh, but no, go check them out. Check out Muddy Cup out there uh, in those neighborhoods. And uh, and please support our friends in the neighborhood. I uh, want to give a shout out to our buddy Chachi. Let's check in with thegamejourney.com. I know I've been seeing him tweet about his latest endeavors there. He is well into the Super Nintendo and he's playing games that I'm not ax axley. He's playing. He's playing some out of this world. I think that's something that you were interested in, uh, Chilla. Yep. And that uh, was a that was a. I I had that on PC though. Wow. Yeah. Well, they called it another world for some reason on uh on the Super Nintendo version. It seems. Hmm. And I don't know why this is not loading. I'm I'm on mobile, so I, things are not uh, loading the way they should be, um, over here. But anyways. Uh, go check out thegamejourney.com and uh, follow Chachi's journey over there. Uh, let's go check in with some uh, a couple of things. Dave Ponder uh, posted a couple of things over on the Awesome Cast group on Facebook. Uh, first of all, here's here's a fun one. And I thought about this today. I, you may have noticed like, I Instagrammed today, um, you know, just kind of finding time and got down uh, downtown early because I had to get down to the convention center to do some setup for a job this week. And uh, he, he puts this this out there. This was a study, or this was from, let's see, EurekaAlert.org. Uh, City parks lift mood as much as Christmas Twitter study shows. <laughs> That's... Wait, is Twitter study a real thing? The, it's a Twitter study. That would be That would be a study that happens on Twitter. Okay. All okay. right. And obviously they got out a little bit because we're talking about city parks. Hmm. So, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's wrong. I know being outside and being around nature. Well, that's and, a big thing, especially sure. in the yeah. city. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, yeah, you're right. I've, I've wandered to melon park and saw the waterfall and you know, it mm -hmm. does lift your spirit a little yeah, bit in you, the middle I mean, of the day. You, especially you, you two like work downtown. Katie, you're downtown adjacent. I'm you know, by a river. You're by a river, at least. <laughs> but that's the I think yeah. that's river that's, adjacent. River adjacent. <laughs> but that that's pretty comparable, right? Mm -hmm. Like you know, just kind of wander down there, take in some nature, um, and you're good to go. We have some green spaces here in the neighborhood. I don't partake enough in them uh, <laughs> for being right here, uh, here in Beachview. So um, and, and you you have that fun water park. We do have a water park here. I mean, I don't with a, with a park and a baseball thing attached. That's right. That's right. Um, I just you know, run through the spray park. I want to run through the fountain every time I'm down there at PPG. It's just their Saturday. Um, oh, oh, also a shout out, uh, Universal Wit, our friends over there. I got to take part in, you know, he was on a year a while ago talking about the, um, some of the tours and stuff he was doing. Um, I actually got to take part in the, in the Notorious tour. So it was a walking tour downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, and you learned about the, the mafia history the jailbreak in like the 1920s, I think. Um, the first ever bank robbery. Um, um, why are there nine foot skeletons that they found in Grant Hill when they were excavating for Grant Street? Uh, you know, it was it was pretty cool. So go to Universal Wit. And I didn't even we got to take Katie on the uh, red light district tour sometime. Yes. That seems like uh, that seems like <laughs> yeah she's nodding. <laughs> we should yeah. go on. A, we'll go on an awesome cast field trip sometime maybe. Yay! And uh, and go check that out. Um, and I th and I believe they just announced a partnership. Um, I know I shared that over on Facebook. Hopefully, I can find that in a moment here. Um, but they, they just they just uh, uh, announced a new partnership for that. So it's great to see his his uh, tours down there um, doing so well, and he has so many awesome things on the. Um, on the uh, on the horizon here in his game spaces too. Uh, Potter also shared this was news to me because I thought this was going to be ten dollars a month. He says uh, uh, Apple was playing a four ninety nine a month price for arcade game subscription service after a free trial. That's going to work with family sharing. That's cool. That that's going to be very useful. <laughs> that that seems like an introductory price because I've also heard that's also for family so it's apple arcade but is that different than the apple apple games plus or whatever we were going to get i thought so i thought it was the same mm -hmm. so and maybe they're looking at it as an all-in feature right like if you buy this it's 4.99 plus the movie stuff mm -hmm. or their their movie thing's going to be 9.99 well, plus your 9.99 for music TV. yeah the tv the yeah. tv which they only have like six I shares hear a yeah, yeah, here oh. up on the here on the Oh, that kind of goes into your thing. Well, it, it, it was funny because um, they they did also put the trailer out for speaking of the Apple TV Plus, 
uh, for the morning show with Steve yeah. Carell, Jennifer Aniston, and Reese Witherspoon, which looks really good. Um, Chachi seems really interested in it, but he said the Apple pretty much uh, uh, guaranteed that he's never going to watch it hmm? because it's on Apple, I guess. Right. So I don't know. <laughs> he's he is not fruit adjacent. He is he is not fruit adjacent. No, no, he's not. So. Um, but no, you know, it's, it's, I, I have a feeling there's, I mean, the Apple TV service is going to be on Samsung TVs. I imagine it's going to be on other things as well. It's just another service. And I'm sure there's going to be more than this. You know? How many are we going to pay for? So uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's the big question. How, how many, how many services are you looking at here? Not counting cable TV. Right at the moment. I have three for so the three major ones. I okay. Have Hulu. Netflix and and like we said before, do you count Amazon? Yeah, and I'm I don't at, think you count Amazon. You don't count <laughs> Amazon. Do you count HBO if it's just included in your AT and T subscription? Like I, I, you know, technically I I pay for two, and I'm looking making room for the third. So so here's I guess this is how I would I would not count HBO if it's bundled mm-hmm. because it's not like you can debundle it and save. Oh, that's a good point. Five ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also wouldn't count Amazon because if yeah, we're not buying it for the TV. If it, yeah, if if Amazon said we're dropping the TV side or the content side, mm-hmm. and you have to pay an extra five bucks for it, would you? Yeah. I probably wouldn't. But if they said we're raising the price of Prime by ten bucks, I'd say, well, I guess I'm losing another ten bucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. I, I mean, the three seems like the magic number there, Katie. I, I think you're you're only running Netflix last I knew, right? Yep, Netflix. I mean, but that's but well, that has so much she's on still there. Watching the VCR, sorry. yeah, I yeah. Still, I still have a VCR. <laughs> you also have a subscription to VCR uh, collection weekly, weekly, <laughs> <laughs> VCR, VCR weekly, weekly with Dutters. Yes, you know so what? Krause, I'm gonna... You don't do Netflix. Yeah, I do Netflix, oh. Hulu, and uh, and Amazon. Okay. Now I did Sorry. have HBO for a while just to see Game of Thrones, and then I turned it off as soon as it was mm-hmm. over. Um, and you know there are a couple like I would love to. Do the CBS thing to watch the Star Treks. Yes, although I came across a DVD of season one of Star Trek Discovery the other day. Oh, and Walmart. Well, there you go. There you go. So, so drop thirty dollars on season one, or subscribe for a month or two and catch up. Right. What do you want to do? Yeah. I actually considered. I was like, whoa, if it's on DVD, and maybe that's if what it becomes. If, if it's on DVD, may I can turn on my disc subscription on Netflix. Wait, then I'm paying the same thing as CBS. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so then you just flip flop that third. That's what you do. I think you got you got to you got to switch a route. We we had a word for that before, or or one of the podcasts did or something. It's like it's. it's I just think three is the magic number, though. Three is the magic, and you have to wonder though now with the Disney. Is that going? You know, is so, everybody so jumping the in? The question here is: What is your uh, TV subscription, Menage a Trois? Right. Uh, I'm 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 probably gonna pick up Disney. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Disney's kind of on there. Since I'm, although I, I, would it count? Because Hulu's, I already subscribed to Hulu. So if I switched over to the <laughs> the triple play, would that just triple become, play? And yeah. you're like, oh, I got these ESPN, See? so I can watch these uh, and, these uh, the esports. I don't want. Yeah, wait, right, we did talk about that. I watch esports and soccer. Esports, and soccer. <laughs> I, uh, not soccer. Ah, uh, it's soccer. fun when they yell goal. <laughs> It is. It's, it's, does, does does Katie record? What, I'm sorry, Katie, I cut you off earlier. What what packages do you have? By the way, it, I, I, the way you said that, I thought you were going to ask, and it had this thought in my head about it, like, what if Katie was recording Netflix shows on the VHS? Ah. That's what I was going to ask, but I needed to know what services she. Had. I think it's just she said just Netflix, right? Yeah, I yeah, just, just Netflix. Netflix. I watched Invaders in yesterday, oh, two days ago. We started watching it, then yeah. I realized Missy was sleeping, yet she was laughing at all the jokes. <laughs> Wow. Hey, did anybody watch the um Starbucks show? Um Starbucks show? Uh, yeah, the lady from what Starbucks. The lady who played Starbucks. Um, oh, oh. Um, I thought you meant like a show about coffee. No, I did too. No, I was no, like, ooh, no, coffee no. show. Like, I'll the watch lady, that. She played Starbucks. Yeah, in, no, that was a Netflix one. Katie, no, dude, I, Katie, Katie. I'm something. like three. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's yeah. like, you should watch Glow. And I'm like, I'm too busy. The, but it wrestling. was very good. We Jamie and I watched it. It was very good. Was it? Yes. Yeah, we enjoyed it. I like Katie Sackoff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I follow her on Instagram. She's one of my favorite people. She's got a, a YouTube channel now, too. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Nice. 
Well, they're, they're going to be uh, getting the pennies out of us one way or another here. You know, whether they're throwing Marvel or... But that's it. It's just not pennies, though. It, 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 yeah. It starts becoming yeah. real money when you really start thinking about it. Yeah, it does. It does. We'll, we'll, we'll be figuring this out or borrowing each other. Be like, hey, let's go watch hey, The friend. Mandalorian together. Yeah, uh, especially because how long is it going to be before... Disney raises the price by five bucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Depends on what they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, hey. Depends if Disney gets Star Wars to start making money at the parks. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. I heard about oh, that, too. yeah. How about that? Mm-hmm. That's right. So, so yeah. Parks were down. Mm-hmm. Park attendance was down. They mm-hmm. concentrated on Star Wars and apparently did not concentrate on, on getting people to the rest of the parks. Mm-hmm. And it got a little sideways for them um, financially here for Disney. So... We'll see how that goes. Oh, wait till the Universal Studio stuff contracts go up and they get Marvel there. Then it'll turn around. You ready for Marvel World? Oh, boy. <laughs> Disney? That's going to be incredible. Anyways, hey, you know what? You know who doesn't have a subscription service that could probably do very well with it? Our friends at Slice on Broadway. Up the street here, here in Beachview. Subscription pizza. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Beachview, Carnegie, PA, East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, go check them out. And uh, they've been supporting us for a good long time here on the show. Please support them back. A local favorite for us. Go check them out. Slice on Broadway. Slice on Broadway dot com all right uh back of the book on the stories here anything you guys are uh, are looking to talk about katie how about you <laughs> what do you got i just put this in here because it amused me okay okay so first of all uh tesla's doing a thing where you can rent solar panels uh for your house oh. yeah and so if you don't want to invest in solar panels you can rent them from tesla for a pretty reasonable cost That's... and this is the solar city stuff right correct yeah they, they bought those uh, uh, a while ago yep so it's like 65 bucks oh sorry no, no, no. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. It's like 65 bucks for a small installation to 195 for large installations. You only have to pay a refundable $100 charge. You can be canceled any time, but charge up to 1500 to remove the system once it's installed. But what do you... So by doing that, what do you get? Because you don't get... So if you put the solar panels on your house, or at least when I looked into it about a year and a half ago, if even if you pay to put the solar panels on your house... You don't get free electricity. You get a like a discounted. Correct. Mm-hmm. So by if if I don't buy them, do I just get less of a discount? Like what's it's it's just, it's the same kind of I don't know. It's like Elon Musk was like, you can save five hundred dollars a year in utility bills with no long term contract. <laughs> Cancel any time. It literally says that in the tweet. But yeah. It sounds like the guys you that come cancel. to my house trying to make me change my electricity provider. Yeah, cancel my at any time. What are they going to do? Have the guys come rip out? them off your car? The repo, yeah. the house. Fifteen hundred, you know. they'll take them off. Where are all those bolts sticking out of your roof? Yeah. Oh, that's where my solar panels used to be. Used I didn't pay be, the bill right. this month. Yeah, the Jeez. repo man. Came I'm still along. afraid to take my dish my dish TV uh, uh, satellite off of my roof because I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to fill those holes or something. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Like, like, that's re- one of the reasons. Also, I'm afraid of heights. Uh, Katie, you want to help me get my dish off the roof? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the large ladders, hey, if you find that large ladder for your antenna, Kraus, um, you can come over to my house and help me with the There you uh, go. Dish. I mean, it's, there's, there's a window. But I still, actually I probably have a ladder that would reach your roof. <laughs> That's good. That's good. We got a new project. Well, only if we stream it. You know, so if one of us does fall off a ladder, at least it's going to make some money. Yeah, yeah make some money. <laughs> Uh, I see you have a companion story. Yeah, I have a companion well. story to go along with this. And one. while you're thinking about renting your Tesla uh, uh, panels, yeah, Walmart sues Tesla for breach of contract after seven stores, seven of their stores, the solar panels caught on fire and caused damage. Seven. So <laughs> Walmart is catching on fire. Jeez. So feel free to rent them at your own risk. Why? So what? Are, so what is that like? Less than a tenth of a percent of yeah, right the stores. stores. <laughs> Why, 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 uh, well, I mean, why does this Walmart smell like burning? Oh, that's Mr. <laughs> that's Mr. Uh, that's Mr. Elon Musk, uh, kid. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, uh, you, uh, Cross, you already talked about your Android Auto redesign, it seems. Yeah. And, uh, but Chilla, you're excited about another movie coming out. Yeah, so they announced another Matrix, which surprised me because it's been quite some time since the last Matrix. They're going to oh, do a what, fourth- 30 years between Top Guns wasn't enough for you? <laughs> I guess that's we're running out of creative new ideas, so we just have to either relaunch or 
continue been, some on, older this, story. This has been this Which, has been the last twenty years of cinema. <laughs> well, I, it's been twenty years since the Matrix came out, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were actually what we talked about last week the the twenty year anniversary. They're going to uh, re release it in Dolby D- Digital. I think at the end of the month here. I'm actually really interested to go see that because um, I love Dolby Digital. Uh, it was I almost went and saw the Bruce Springsteen like UK movie. <laughs> Have you seen the preview for that one? It was mm-hmm. like it was about like immigrants in the UK, and the one kid like discovered Bruce Springsteen and realized that it completely spoke to him. Yeah, and <laughs> cuts off his sleeves. Yeah, it cuts <laughs> off his sleeves, and it's just like it's just like you know featuring Bruce Springsteen music, and they put it in the Dolby thing, which was really awesome when I saw the Queen movie there. So I mean, so yeah, you know, plus Keanu Reeves is on like the upscale thing, right? And I think he's just revi- revisiting every uh, franchise that uh, that made him popular right now. Bill and Ted's on the way. It would be super interesting if we just find out Bill and Ted was just in the Matrix. I just saw another Facebook update from the set of the Ghostbusters movie. I, I saw that, and I saw that I saw them driving the car around, and I saw Dan Aykroyd is doing something. Because aren't they going to relaunch a game for the Nintendo Switch? Oh, are they? It oh. is. It is a potential sad day for movies, though, because it looks like Sony and Disney are not coming to an agreement on Spider Man. Nope. A what? No, you didn't see this. No. Yeah. What's happening there? No more Marvel. What? In the Spider-Man movies. As of as of this moment, Disney came forward and said that they couldn't come to an agreement. Sony walked away from the table. Sony's now saying that's not necessarily true. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, don't wait piss a off minute. the geeks. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at us. enough, though, because Sony also snapped up. I thought it was interesting because I saw two, art- two articles in, like, the geek kind of area of the news today and the first one was sony buys insomniac games which Ooh, is the maker wow. which is the maker of the spider-man for a playstation game yeah and then right after that it was sony and and disney can't come to an agreement on spider-man <laughs> <laughs> so so huh oh, that, that's interesting um hey speaking of video games remember last week we were talking about minecraft and and i know like uh chill i believe minecraft takes up a lot of your house Yes. Old, uh, these days, so we're talking about like that that new higher graphic um, um, uh, patch was not coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they made some deal with Nvidia. I didn't get but to read Nvidia the article. Nvidia says, but... "Hey guys, let us let's let's just turn on ray tracing. Ray tracing is one of those fancy technologies that Nvidia is really good at, apparently. Um, and uh, there's some visuals of that. It, it's um." It's new ray tracing. Uh, they're also including this in titles like Dying Light 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Was there a new one of those? Modern Warfare? Isn't that... Like, there's always a new one. Isn't that why I played it? Like, I remember playing 3 on the 360. Um, there's a little shot if you're on with a video on this. So basically, it's still blocky, but man, that, that light looks really cool. That light looks <laughs> awesome. That light looks really nice right there. Yes, it does. So, um, yeah, let's... let's oh, that's with it off. And there's a little bit of video here as well. We'll see if that gets us boot off of uh, YouTube, um, but uh, it, it's uh, that, that, that that's kind of cool. I mean, that's always been the thing. Like Minecraft's always felt a little bit uh, cheesy to me, and um, if it, you can kind of make it grow up a little bit, because it's kind of looked the same for a while, hasn't it? Oh, it's it, they, they did do like one update to okay. the the shaders and some of the graphics, but I'll tell you what, I feel like when it. If you give it a chance, mm-hmm. it's not about the graphics. It's no. about, I know, I know. It's about the building. It's the blocks. It's <laughs> it's Legos. It, it is. If I you know. have, if it scratches the Lego, but can itch we big make time. the Legos look a little bit cooler and dynamic lighting them up? Yeah, it's it's. I'm in for it. <laughs> But it, or am I going to need an NVIDIA card? The, the, yeah, that's the thing. Is this going to work <laughs> on my Intel graphics laptop on Windows 10? It only works on Windows 10, first of all, um, according to this. Uh, let's see. Real quick, uh, we talked about the $10 Apple TV. Uh, further news on Google Stadia, which continues to interest me. Uh, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 27.7, that, that, again, Keanu Reeves, um, as uh, was uh, rolled out at the Xbox uh, uh, keynote for Yeah, E3. he's the... Over the voice in your head, right? 
I think so. Yeah. And then also, uh, Mortal Kombat 11 are going to be coming to Google Stadia. They also confirm Ed- Elder Scrolls Online, Borderlands 3, and Super Hot. So some pretty decent marquee titles will be coming to this. Um, I mean, this is and, and they're and they're doing um, Stadia Connects. Um, nope, we didn't get the idea off of you, Nintendo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so that's how we're going to be getting our news there. I think it looks it looks. It, it, I'm still very interested in it. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it to see how it actually plays. I don't know if I'm ready to drop $130 on that first pack that they have, you know, to do it the right way. But I don't know. I just feel like it's the kind of thing where you're just going to bounce in and 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 see how it works. If you already own a Chromecast Ultra, mm-hmm. do you still have to buy the 130 or do you buy the just the controller? I think you just buy the controller. Okay. Like, but also the the one thirty includes like a game and and uh, like several months of the service of the premium service. Again, I don't know if you need that premium service if you don't have a four K television. Okay. Right. So I, I it's it's still a kind of it's up in the air for me a little bit. Real quick, let's talk about the new robot in Cross's house. Oh yeah, I got a Roomba, <laughs> and actually I wasn't the one who bought it. My wife decided she wanted it. Um, we were at at Sam's Club a couple weeks ago. And um, the one thing I can tell you is, is the Roomba's not perfect. I don't have the new one that automatically empties itself. <laughs> so you do have to remember to to empty the little um, bin, I guess, mm-hmm. on the device. And it, it goes about, we have two cats, so probably every third day it needs to be emptied. Does it like beep at you or something? Huh? What does it do? Beep at you or something? No, you just have to remember to you know empty it every what, couple of days. You, so, do, do you have it hooked up to your? Do you have it hooked up to the app on your phone? Yep. Oh, mine, mine actually like alerts me. Oh, really? See, we, I, don't, we don't have the we don't have the self emptying one either. But yeah, ours ours will at least it'll 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 send me a notification if it got stuck. Yes, I get the stuck notifications. Maybe I'm just preemptive enough that I, I empty it I before it needs it. You get this notification that says, help me. <laughs> it does. <laughs> From Rosie the Roomba. Yeah, I called her Rosie, by the way. Um, I just thought that was awesome. So her name is Rosie. So you can tell Google to send Rosie home or have you know, Google start her up, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. But uh, but it's great. And um while it it will not replace my regular once a week uh you know vacuuming it does my wife has even commented that seeing the little track marks mm-hmm. on the carpet every day <laughs> when you come home from work it just makes it feel like the house is cleaner you mm-hmm. know what i mean maybe it's all in your head kind of thing but um it does actually work very well do you, so do you, and this is probably an odd question do you have litter boxes anywhere where it goes yes but my litter boxes all stand pretty high so it just bounces around them okay yeah because we don't because our litter boxes are in the basement now that we finished the basement i'm thinking about getting a second one for down there okay Mm -hmm. but i want to know that it's i want to guarantee that it's going to take care of and there's not like a lot of litter but it's just like a little yes it does help with that okay yeah i know i know exactly what you're talking about it does help with that cool awesome <laughs> and it's amazing too because it goes in my dining room i mean in the in the kitchen and does the floor in there and then you know the rugs that you have in your bathroom you know like the mm-hmm. the rug around the toilet and stuff like that i thought those things would give it trouble it rolls right over them they've had they've had a few years for yourself Pot- yeah partner saying that his cats will love that yeah so. oh the cats are totally freaked out by it we it, it, it starts up and they just like follow it around the house mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. don't mess with it but they watch it like <laughs> what is this thing did doing? you ever see the video from i think it was last october where i was staring at stayed at an airbnb in in dallas and and i i heard something and opened the door and there was the roomba like <laughs> like coming like you know yeah. quote barreling towards me yeah <laughs> so yeah, it's great. Oh, man. Uh, hey, guys, we got to get out of here. But first, I want to give a shout to uh, us, uh, producer Missy, Katie, me, 
uh, from <laughs> more media services, uh, from sporting events, music video production, conferences, and everywhere in between. Literally, I think we've done all three in the last week. Uh, us, the team at Sidekick Media Services, has you covered as Sidekick to your superhero project. What me- next big thing can we help you with? For more information and check out some of the projects that we've worked with, check out SidekickMediaServices.com. And then this right here is also an example of the kind of thing that we can do with Sidekick Media Services. All right. Uh, I will be coming up this week. I will be at Abstractions. I got my little thingy here Whoa. right, ready to go. And uh, I'll be helping uh, with a little bit of video uh, capture for that event with our friends over at Work Hard Digital. Uh, so uh, if you're going to Abstractions, one of our coder buddies, go say hi. Uh, uh, I'll be around um, shooting stuff and hanging out at the Academy of Pittsburgh Work Hard Digital booth. And uh, it looks like fun. I, I was actually looking a little bit at the... Um, the track that I'm going to be apparently helping out with. And, uh, and again, it's, it's coding, but it's also like, I think a little bit of small business too. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, anything coming up for you guys, uh, Katie, I see, I see Instagram's popping up for you guys. Yeah. Instagram and stuff. <laughs> I'm putting stuff on the gram. Well, it's just, there's Katie doing things on the Instagram. Instagram. Oh, I made friends with a, a gentleman yesterday on the, Oh, oh, your text messaging. <laughs> My text message friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you randomly text message Katie, she doesn't know who she who you are. I'll converse with you. <laughs> Especially when you send me pictures of food. I will be like, man, I want to eat that. And then you will think I'm a dude by the end of the conversation and mm-hmm. call me brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> obviously, I was like, this guy thinks I'm a dude. This is obvious, awesome. Obviously, you were texting um, um, Hulk Hogan, and he has a Meadville error code. Yeah, seriously. Are you like... Te- did you hear about your text na- text messaging neighbor? Yeah, that I've not had that happen, but that yeah. You're supposed to text the, the person one number up or one number down. What is this? From your phone number? If I do one number up, I'll text my mom. So, <laughs> yeah, you know how your phone number, you add one digit or take one digit away, and that's your text messaging I've never neighbor. thought about this, so what are you supposed to do? You just send them a text. Hey, how you doing? I, you're hey, my na- neighbor. Howdy, neighbor. Yeah. Oh, what? I kind of want to do that now. Oh, <laughs> I just heard about that the other day. <laughs> okay, uh, that could be that could be fun. Uh, Katie, you should you should do that. And are you doing that? Uh, you, go the other way. That's not your mom. Actually, you know what? <laughs> like, hey, you know do it with your mom too. Yeah. So, you know, hey, go ahead. Neighbor, hey neighbor. Like, what? What's what? This? Yeah. What? Why are you messaging who's this? me? What's New happening? <laughs> <laughs> New neighbor. Who's this? Uh, where Where can people find you on the Instagrams? Uh, Kate Marie PGH. That's usually where I'm most active. I've been pretty active on Twitter too. It's Kate Utters. I'm mm-hmm. surprised, and more than Facebook. <laughs> well, you you got caught out uh, uh, from from the raffle during yes, our wrestling yes, production yes, on Friday. I yes, remember. Yes, I'm, so there was yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Got beef. <laughs> I got beat with <laughs> Jim LaMotta for uh, uh, not selling you the winning raffle ticket at Stomp Out Cancer. Uh, so there's that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Crazy Kraus. Yes, sir. What, what, what do you want to plug? Well, I'll be working at Big Bank International, <laughs> earning my paycheck. You can find me pay, earning my paycheck <laughs> right. every two weeks. Every two weeks like a boss that's what that I has do. another yeah. boss. Yeah, that's Woo. right. That's what I do. Checking on his Roomba. Checking on my Roomba. Uh, yeah. Please. Or paying for the Roomba. One or the other. <laughs> You're making payments on that Roomba. Yeah. So, or no, I'm making payments on the truck, but that's a whole other subject. There's that too. So, yeah. No, I'll, I'll be around. If you need something, let me know. <laughs> I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> that's the great i'm around let me know crazy cows with the kraus with the k's on the twitter that's right john to chill at chill on the tweets chillatech.net john should chill on the facebooks there you go producer missy on the ones and twos in the back yeah and of course uh apprentice michael hanging out as well and also they all, all also all of our co-hosts for the next podcast are here <laughs> so we should probably wrap this one up thank you everybody for joining us on the awesome cast we'll see you guys next time uh you have been on your you have been our awesome audience have an awesome week this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com